For this avatar quest right here, a lot of people are having trouble with completing it. It basically requires you to earn XP in career made islands. And as you can see, the quest is currently grayed out because I'm currently in battle royale mode. But to have access to this quest, all you have to do is just go to a creative map. So I'm going to give you two options in this video, two creative maps that you can use to grind that XP. And uh, just to explain everything. So these, this is the uh, mini pass right here. And those quests will give you extra points, which will allow you to get like, uh, like some rewards early. So if I fully complete these stages, I will I should be able to get the loading screen early and the emote early so basically I'm going to show you exactly how to do that the first uh, the first creative map is a very popular one that a lot of people use and you can find it really really easily all you got to do is just scroll down a little bit until you find uh, these recommended ones and you should be able to find it it's called the pit zero build and as you can see so uh, it's it's either zero build or the pit free for all uh, I usually go for the free for all because it has 57,000 people playing it and it's very 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 popular and the gist of this uh, of this uh, map is very very easy to understand all you gotta do is just jump into it this is the map code as you can see right here in case you want the map code and you don't find it it's 4590-4493-7113 so that's the code right there if you don't find it just in case make sure to favorite it so it is always in your uh, uh in your like uh favorite maps and you can always find it and then just simply click select and as you can see, it's going to load in. This is like the background for it. And if I go back to the quest here, the quest is no longer grayed out. And now I am able to start earning these points. Uh, in total, I think each one of these is going to give you 2,000 points in total. And with each new chakra quest line, we'll get 2,000 more. So for the water chakra, we have this one. Uh, in two days, we're going to have the earth chakra. And we're going to have five more stages of this one. So 2,000 more points, so on and so forth. You can do the math for yourself and know exactly how many points you need. So back to the uh, map itself. We're just going to jump into a game. Of course, make it a public game. And I'm going to show you exactly what this map uh, requires you to do. All right, here we are. So the first thing you want to do is mute everybody because everybody plays with open mic. I don't know why, but you, you can hear literally everybody eating chips, people talking to their families. <laughs> so I don't know. I just tend to mute everybody just before the uh, the game starts. As you can see, it's waiting for everybody to, to load in. Make sure you always check who's new. Just mute them. Unless, of course, you're playing with friends, that's, of course, up to you. So if you look at the bottom corner, we are uh, the bottom left corner, you'll see that we have 9 out of 12 players. We need 3 more players, or we need 50 seconds to pass for this uh, for this map to start. We should be getting 3 players really, really soon. Let me just check here. As you can see, everybody just jumps in with open mic. I don't know why. So that's 10 out of 12. We just need 2 more players. If you see 2 more people, we're just gonna mute them. So the basic gist of this map, if you've never played it before, is uh, I can I can just start explaining here. So those are going to be the uh, all of this is going to be like um, weapons. So you can grab any type of weapons that you like, and then you simply jump into the pit right here, and we're going to fight a lot of these players. There we go. We got people leaving already. We're down to nine, eight out of twelve. People still leaving. Doesn't really matter. Uh, usually you get like around 10 players who actually stick around for these maps that's why you always choose the one with 50,000 players because you know there's uh, more players here here we are come on all right here we go welcome to the pit now all you gotta do is just choose the weapons of your liking we'll take the pump here hello then, okay here we go <laughs> we got people talking mute there we go so we're not going to take any snipers. I'm going to show you exactly how I usually do it. Nothing here uh, of use. You always want shocker grenades, by the way. And you want heals. And now we just need an AR and an SMG. Uh, there's all kind of uh, weapons, by the way. If you want a scar, there is a scar. It depends, of course, on which weapon uh, you are most comfortable with. And I think we missed uh, we missed the SMG here. Yeah, we'll take this. we'll take this, actually, right here. All right, here we go. We're all loaded up. So we're gonna jump off, and we're gonna just uh, look for kills. We'll start with this dude here. Oh my god, dude! Somebody shot me out of the air. There we go. That's two elims. As you can see, we got sixteen thousand XP just from that. Oh, we gotta reload actually. Before we fight this dude. Oh my god, okay. 
<laughs> so you get the gist of it. You just get eliminations, and of course you'll get your points. And if you uh, AFK here for 15 minutes and then 30 minutes, you'll also get a bunch of XP. So all you gotta do is just either play the game and just try to get eliminations as much as possible, or you can just AFK. Just it doesn't really matter what you do. Just AFK here, and you'll also still get points. So that's the basic gist of this map. People uh, usually stay around one hour, maybe maybe 45 minutes, and then they quit. Th just from my experience. And like I said, just it's up to you if you want to do it here. Sometimes I do it here. Sometimes I use XP maps. So we're gonna just leave this map right here. That's like option number one for you guys if you want it. Next, I'm gonna show you the uh, the Crime City map, which is a creative map where you can uh, do uh, like different quests to complete it. All right, here we go. Just to check on the uh, previous quest, we'll see that we have progressed a little bit here. We're almost done with stage one. So for the Crime City map, we just need to put in this code right over here. It's gonna be three two seven five five two one eight three six one eight. And they're just gonna press enter and it should show up. So there we go, it's called Crime City. Just gonna make sure to favorite this so we can find it later and we don't need the code anymore. And again, this is the code if you wanna screenshot it or something. Just gonna select that and jump into a game. Let's make it a private game actually, if we can. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it doesn't really, we don't really, uh, really need to fight or meet other players here. It's basically a solo adventure that you can do. And it gives you around 180,000 to 200,000 XP, depending on how, uh, how long you stay in the map and how many quests you actually complete. Alright, here we are. So this is where you start. It's an underground area with a train station, as you can see. And if you look at the top left corner, it says play Crime City for an hour for free gold and a big XP reward. So if you spend exactly one hour in this map, you can AFK if you want, you will actually get a bunch of XP as well. So the first thing you want to do is just exit this place right here. We're going to go up. I'm going to show you a couple of spots where you can uh, where you can uh, do the quest. So let's see. Drop a like. Na, na, na. Okay, we, we want to go all the way over here. We're going to go to Diamond Palace first. So this location right here, this is quest number one that we're going to do. Here we go. It should be right around this corner. There we go. So this is Diamond Palace, as you can see. All right, here we are. So let's actually heal up first. Okay, let's try this, maybe. Okay. That's one. Come on. There we go. So, once you eliminate these two NPCs, you can grab this diamond right here in the middle, as you can see right here. So, just gonna grab that. Takes a few seconds to get, by the way. So, just be patient with it. And after we get the diamond, we're gonna need to deliver it to somebody. Come on. This is taking forever. Just grab the thing, man. Nice. Okay, we got it. Now, we just need to exit. Okay, we're out. Now we're gonna make our way to uh, the uh, the dude that's gonna need the diamond. It's gonna be right here at Grove Ave. So we're gonna go all the way over there. Let me just check the map. Yeah, there we go. So weirdly, the pink uh, the pink gets stuck. Oh, oh my god, my cats <laughs> my cats are fighting. Stop, stop it. Come on, be nice. Okay, just gonna make our way to the end of this little uh, pier, I suppose. There are mobility items, by the way. There's a grapple glove, there's wings, there's uh, different types of uh, weapons. But you need gold for that, so, you know, uh, whenever you get yourself some gold, just go ahead and buy it. You can buy the stuff from, uh, like, from uh, weapon outlets, or you can buy it from tactical arms. It's up to you. Here we go. So, there should be a Jonesy uh, poster thingy. Yeah. So, this is it right here. As you can see, it says deliver diamond. So, let me just pink it for you, just in case you... Actually, let me... Yeah, there we go. So... That's 5,000 XP, and there should be more, of course. So we're just going to go all the way over here, and this is the spot. Just deliver the diamond there, and you'll get yourself the XP. And again, as you can see, like the minutes are being uh, counted at the top left corner. So this is like the best place, in my opinion, to just stay AFK and just try to get as many as you can. So for the next quest, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. All right, here we are. So quest number two is to go to this spot right over here around this area, where you're going to find this uh, key code or key card, I suppose, that you can use. It's gonna be underneath the bridge, right in this like junkyard. So this is it. it says Catty Corner Key Card, and you could just grab that. Here we go. I don't think this works, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see what it takes. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> so we're gonna have to walk again. If you find yourself a grapple glove, you can just use that. But ba we're basically gonna walk all the way over here to Joel's Resort. So that's where we're gonna uh, deliver this key card to. All right, here we are. We made it. There are also bikes that you can uh, that you can use to drive around if you want. So we're gonna go inside. 
here we are so there should be an npc here that you're gonna have to fight first just gonna try my best not to die to him there it is so once you eliminate him you'll see that you can use the key card the key card that you got earlier for catty corner you're gonna open this which opens the vault and puts you inside you're gonna have to dodge these two um these two uh, traps and there are more traps inside right there as you can see so these are the poison traps and those are the uh, these are called poison dart i think and these are called uh, the poison uh the the uh spike traps so we're gonna try to dodge these right here there we go i'm gonna activate those Ooh. i'm gonna grab that and there it is you don't you don't need to uh like you don't need to dodge any of the inside traps because once you get yourself the uh the coin you will be uh teleported outside as you can see right there there we go and you see the xp on top right there so that's the second quest that you can do uh there's also another quest that you can uh, uh do we're not i'm not gonna do it in this video but it's basically the cc bank right here you just need to be very uh very good at dodging traps not like me <laughs> as you saw earlier but you just need to dodge a bunch of traps or again the uh, safest option is, is to just afk here you don't need to do anything you can just you know chill afk go maybe go outside touch some grass uh, go for an errand or maybe go to sleep or like whenever you go to sleep you can just leave this afk and uh that 60 minutes will pass rather fast and once those are up you can just uh, reset and just try over and over again and these quests by, by the way you can uh keep doing them over and over again every 15 minutes so they are spammable and yeah this is the basic idea guys so if i leave right now and go back we should be getting a uh, we should be at least at stage two of course again it is up to you how you do this personally i like doing it in um uh the pit because i like like fighting and just uh, you know uh, trying to get better at the game so as you can see we got 400 more uh chi points or whatever you want to call them go to the quest tab as you can see we are already uh, almost halfway or almost done with the second stage of uh, the first like uh, uh, five quests and yeah this is the basic idea guys so that's all you need to do i hope it was helpful i hope it was informative if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thank you